Hello and welcome to another edition of Tanner Tube. Uh, I'm going to dedicate this hopefully short video on uh, the basics of formatting in Microsoft Word. Okay? And before I get going, I am going to just throw some text on there. I'm going to type a code equals lorem. And then I'm going to put uh, 3, comma, 7. That should give me three paragraphs of lorem ipsum type. Very good. Okay, that gives us some words to work with. Now, uh, many of the things that I show you how to do on here are also available in prior versions of Microsoft Word, um, Microsoft uh, or um, Microsoft Works, Open Office, etc. They just look differently, is all. Okay, the concepts are the same. Okay, so we're going to go over uh, the font and the paragraph tools today. And these are on the home banner. These are called uh, different banners in Microsoft Word 2010. Okay, first thing first, before you can format anything, you have to have it selected. Click and drag. Okay, that selects it. Bold makes text bold. Italic makes text italic. Underline underlines text. All right, you can go here. You can change your font. All right, you can go here. You can change your size. Okay, you can go here and you can just change your size by various increments. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can pop this out. Okay, and this um, dialog box here is very familiar to many of us especially if you've been using Microsoft Word for a while okay so we can go here and we can change our font I'm gonna choose uh, Comic Sans so I can show you a couple things alright there's your preview of Comic Sans and we can make it bold we can make it italic we can make it 12 point okay we can change our font color and if we wanted to change an underline style, we could do it here also. Make, maybe make it double underline. Okay. And then we're going to say okay. There we are. So I did all that from the dialog box. The font dialog box. Okay. This used to all be under the format menu. Okay. So now the next thing I want to look at is I want to look at the paragraph menu. So I'm going to select my paragraph, okay, and I'm going to tell you that you could go here for your spacing, okay. You can go um, increase your indent, decrease your indent, all right. I'm going to select all of these. This is bullets, okay. You could change your bullet style if you want to. You can even define new bullets. I'll show you how to do that in a later version. You can change it to numbers. Notice how the number is matching the text. Okay. And then you can pop out the paragraph just like you popped out the font to get the dialog box. Now I want to tell you that um, with 2007 and 2010 Microsoft veered away from the um, industry standard or business standard, if you will, of Times New Roman 12 point. And they also kind of toyed with the spacing. So if you want to get back to that business default, set your spacing to zero before and after, and set your line spacing to zero. Okay? And then go ahead and set your font to Times New Roman. 12 point and say OK. So now we're back to the industry standards. OK? So let's say that, oh man, I really like this italic right here. See how this word is in italic? And I want to use that same font um, somewhere else, that same style. So I'm going to show you how to use a format painter. Basically, it works the same way as, I don't know, painting. Um, First of all, you have to select the color or style design that you want, just like that. 
then you're going to click on the little paintbrush and that's going to load it up but it's only going to load it up for one application so as soon as I click and release that loading is gone that application is gone so I'm going to do it right here see how it changed it pretty cool huh okay so let's say I, I kind of like the way this this color double underline thing is okay so I want to use that in many places so I'm gonna double click format painter and now every time I click on a word it's going to use that formatting pretty neat huh okay now let me show you let's see we went through bullets numbers ah alignment okay by default anytime you type a paper whatever you want to go left align okay which is right here that means we used to call it ragged right the right edge is ragged but the left end is the left side is lined up okay for titles and things like that you want to use centering a lot of people like centering for poetry this is called right align which means everything is lined up perfectly on the right and this is called justifying sometimes when you're reading especially in the newspaper article and there's only a few words for a line and they use justification um, it puts all the extra spaces between the words okay that's called justifying okay now I want to show you a couple other things a lot of people don't realize this um, when I type in Microsoft Word I don't need to press enter at the end of every line because Microsoft Word has a feature that automatically moves the text down okay see how it worked I didn't I never pressed enter and I'll prove it to you in just a second now many people don't know this so they eyeball their documents and press enter where they think the line is going to end okay so it automatically capitalized Microsoft Word automatically capitalized this word they all right it's because Microsoft Word said hey Amanda pressed enter at the end of this line so she must have meant a new paragraph and yet this one is not capitalized that's because I didn't press enter there remember I said I'd prove it to you you can click on the show hide paragraph marks every time you see one of these that means you pressed enter that's a blank line so I did not press enter here the little dot means that I just hit space one time that's where I pressed enter but look at this line I pressed enter at the end of the line causing Microsoft Word to go down to the next line and also capitalize the first letter so if you are having problems with all of your uh, first letters on the line being capitalized it's because you're pressing enter at the end of the other lines please don't do that just keep typing let Microsoft Word wrap the text down okay one last little tidbit this is kind of a pet peeve of mine I want to talk about centering text and I want to talk about tabbing text okay many times um, you'll want to center your text in the page this is what a lot of people do they just kind of hold down the space bar and they eyeball it until it looks like it's centered and then the same thing you know they may want this to be over here about this far and then your next line you're going to kind of have to eyeball it you know next line that's not the way to do things guys you're making your life difficult see all this if you see a bunch of these dots that means that the space bar was used there okay 
Remember this rule of thumb. I hit press control and B for bold. Never press the space bar more than five times. Okay? I'm going to show you why. We're going to go ahead and we're going to delete all this garbage here. And I'm just going to press the centering button. There you go. We're going to delete all this. And I'm going to press tab. See how it lined up nice and neat? We're going to delete all this. And I'm going to press tab. Okay? So you don't have all these spaces in here. This is what a well-formatted document should look like. You can take this off. And remember, highlight your text. Change your colors. Nobody likes red. Center it in the page. And oops. There you go. There you have it, guys. And that ends this edition of Tanner Tube basic formatting. We covered the font dialog box and we covered the paragraph dialog box. Alright, we didn't cover all of them, but this is just basics. See you later. Have fun.